Wakey wakey. I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Oh, not in this era, anyway. <laughs> I wish I could explain all this strangeness, but there isn't much time. Dude! The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. Oh my god. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. Ugh. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals! He's bleeding fast! Check the victim! Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me! You alright? Bitch, I haven't spoken this whole game! What are you talking about? That, dude, I never realized who that looks exactly like when I first played this. There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Fuck me, dude. I have so many questions right now. Fuck. Mostly just one, like. Good. Try walking around. Look up at this light. Look down at this light. All right. A doctor came by. Said oh. there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. Oh, that's so good, dude. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Yeah. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. What if I say no? I kind of want to just go home and eat, like, eat something. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. Take care. And, again, thank you. What the fuck, In dude? In a world where pirates rule the waves. These men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed. That's such a rum. That's such Wonder a fucking insult. And women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. That is so fantastic. Good to know that John is a descendant or some shit. He's a descendant or some shit, dude. Sticky note 13? Okay, that's the one that was in her office. Fine. Uh, Morty. Um, dude. I did not realize who that fucking looked like. Who John was- Dude, I'm pretty sure that was actually... Like... Bartholomew Roberts... Reborn. Uh, and... Well... What now? Talk, you idiot! Look at the light! Oh. Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah, <clears throat> Look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner. Uh, in crime. Hello. Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. 
Three is just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. Oh, my goodness. We who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Abstergo's cloud servers, and I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before you die. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Uh, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. Okay, that was Sean and Rebecca. All the computers are freed up. I think I'll do all that shit before we go back to the Animus, man. There's so many questions. Now, like, honestly, I am more than excited ever to play Assassin's Creed Rogue. I, when I first... Ah, there's so much stuff to do. Let's just get hacking. Let's start doing all the computers in this, in this bitch right here. Every single one of these is freed up ever since the incident. So that was, that, that was like a direct descendant of Bartholomew Roberts, right? Or that was him, or some shit like that, like that's what that was. There we go. You just gotta go in that little portal the right way. Wowzers. These are all neat. I'm gonna go through all this stuff and like probably read it and just talk about it, and then we're gonna put two and two together. So, let's just get hacking at these fucking computers. Cause I bet you this shit has all the, all the, um, oh wow, that's old school like Animus. I bet you this stuff has lore hidden behind it that we can read into. About who the fuck John from IT was, and he looked, he literally had the same exact mustache, the same handlebar mustache that Bartholomew Roberts had. Like what the fuck is that dude? You ever heard of like trying not to look like the main, one of the main antagonists of of our animus adventures. You ever like thought about trying not to look like that? There you go. Dude, I see a 5 0 right outside my fucking window. Shit, I probably should stop taking dabs right now, huh? What? I didn't say anything about taking dabs. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who that is. Mary Jane Watson, did I just see that? Next computer. Is this? This isn't my animus. This is a something. This is a something different animus. This is a different animus. Whoa! What is this green one, my guy? Oh, they're just different. They're just different color schemes, my guy. Down to the blue one. That's so wonderful, dude. Hacking in this game ain't that bad. You just got dude, left then left to right. I'm sorry, left or right, then up or down, then left or right, then up or down. Mix it up, you'll fucking get there eventually, dude. Subject zero. We'll get to that, dude. All that stuff. I honestly can't wrap my mind around what the fuck I just witnessed, like... I seriously can't wrap my mind around... John from IT looking exactly like Bartholomew Roberts. And how did I not fucking notice it like my first playthrough? That one was... <laughs> pretty fucking easy, not gonna lie. How did I not notice that dude? And he literally... It was the same voice actor, you could just tell. And he sounded exactly the same, he even had that accent a little bit. Like fuck dude, like... Like fuck. Bloom? Oh my god, I need to play Watch Dogs, my guy! I need to play Watch Dogs! Sorry for freaking out there. I, listen. Bloom, that shit that you just saw right there, if you haven't played Watch Dogs, it is the thing for Watch Dogs. That is like the thing. Watch, Bloom to Watch Dogs is what Abstergo is to Assassin's Creed. Like the franchise, you get it? Like, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit's crazy, dude. And they keep, like, they keep continuously fucking mentioning it, because this was, like, the same time that Watch Dogs came out. Fuck, man, I gotta play that shit for my channel. 
And back then, like back when I originally wanted to play for my channel, I couldn't. My PC could not handle it, dude. There we go. I'm just trying to take that fucking portal that way. Thank you, dude. I don't even know what you call that. It's like a little portal or some shit. I'm just gonna call it the little portal. Yeah, watchdogs. This dude looks like fucking bar robbers exactly. Assassin's Creed Rogue is coming up. Dude, there's so much just lore hidden in this that connects all these universes. And that is honestly what it means to be like a gamer or a nerd or whatever you want to call it. When shit is just so connected like this. Can we hack Melanie's computer? Nah, her computer's not hackable. She she had John from IT specifically hook that shit up. Here's another one in the lobby. I bet you those, um, those documents, those bottled, those bottled messages, I bet you those have, like, everything to do with what John from IT, what is, or whatever you want to call it, I bet you that has everything to do with what his deal was. Like, I'd be willing to put money on it, because they talked about a different sage, and yeah, the shit was crazy. Now we're gonna try and take this one right there. So, dude, and there's mad amounts of computers to hack too, obviously. Little did Melanie LeMay know that the mute that is going around just kind of just casually strolling around Abstergo Entertainment, formerly known as Abstergo Industries, um, is actually the one who's been doing all the hacking and shit. Little did they fucking know. So here's a server room. Yeah, let's take this one, dude. Now there's five numbers. Oh my. 32777. 32777. 32 Jesuses. Did you guys get that? 777? That's Jesus' number? Alright. Press A to initiate remote hacking. Oh, we gotta do two of this shit. Oh, fucking. Can we do it in one take? I can do it in one take. I can do it in one take. <laughs> one take, bitch. That was tough. Low key, that was kind of tough. I don't know how I fucking did that. Our initial research it. into the life of Ratana Gaiden focused on a period spanning his late teens to his early 30s. But our researchers came away unimpressed by his calm and stoic demeanor, with occasional flashes of extreme anger. This was not the sort of leading man we felt comfortable endorsing. We decided, therefore, to delve into his early childhood, with the hope that scenes of pre-colonial America might hold some appeal. As you can see here, there is a certain naive charm and innocence to this young boy. Unfortunately, our researchers found this young man's story deeply problematic as well. For one, the omnipresence of the Mohawk culture lacks the balance necessary to tell the true story of America. And secondly, the Mohawk language would certainly be an issue for most of our audience. We therefore feel that although Ratana Tankon's early life would be of some interest to our more educated viewers, it's unlikely that his story would appeal on a broader scale, being too foreign, as it were, to normal audiences. Our team recommends we pass on this property. Will they call him Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan? Some shit like that? That shit was in the same room that where when you walk, when you go into the elevator, you go straight to the right, right into that room. That's where that level three shite was. Come on, Connor was interesting. Why? Dude, they're all fucking like passing him up. Dude, he was the fucking hero of the Revolutionary War, my dude. Show this shit from the trailer. Show this shit from like... Whenever they, they, he took command, single-handedly, of an entire American army. I think Earthang up, up in floor two has been hacked. Nope, we have the lobby. The receptionist has something that we can hack. So let's hack that. I wonder how easy this one's going to be. Oh, it's Frogger. Okay. Can we do it in one take again? I can do this in one take. Let's go, man. Cause you can't do this until after the fucking game is over.
Fuck. Those are like tough, like low key. Those are just like a little tough sometimes, man. That's why I was, dude, I was shocked when I got that one in one take. Fuck, that one took me like, eh, that one, like 10 tries. Our initial reports gave us yes! that Enzio Auditori would serve as an ideal candidate for future Abstergo projects. His charisma, sexual magnetism, and wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. However, his corruption by the Assassin Order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio was frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire personality Enzio. is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. They... How? These fucking market analyses, like, they're cool and all being all meta and shit. But dude, Ezio is like the fucking character. He's the man, dude. Hey, we're going down to... You want to go up? There ain't shit in Olivier's office, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... There's something over here. There's level 2 clearance, and then there's level 3 clearance, my dude. What's that? Alright, anyway. Another server room to hack. So this is probably a double... A twofer, as they call it. 7203. And there's fucking 5 again. Damn. All 7s and 1-3? I mean, shit, dude. Well, there's one. I know there's gonna be fucking two. Yeah, of course. One tank gang again? Can I fucking do it? Be patient. Oh! Oh! Dude, that one was kind of bullshit. I can't believe I got that. That was close. That was a close one. Fuck. Whew. Sometimes starting this shit over. Is that Hatham Kenway? No way, dude. Great minds in history. Can't honestly really recall um, what exactly there is to do in the lobby. Probably hack these computers right here, dude. All hackable. So this one, that one, fuck yeah. Another Frogger one? Come on, man. I'm gonna make this whole video about trying to get a one take. Oh my. In the bag, money. Money green gang moolah. Why is my... Have I been like that the whole time, gentle boys? I'm sorry. We are attempting to synchronize the DDS system. This will only take a moment. We are almost there. The DDS is now in sync. Elizabeth Jane Weston. We hope you enjoy your experience. That's who I thought was Mary Jane Watson. Rudolf II invited many notable figures to his court, making Prague the center of European culture. Among them were Englishman Edward Kelly and his stepdaughter, Elizabeth Jane Weston. Observe her and report any alleged collusion. I don't know what I just watched. Next one. Oh, oh. 
So many times I should have probably not made it out of that. Out of those hacks successfully, but... <sighs> Hacking computers is not what I wanted to do. And we're done. We're, we're done with this game once we're... Like, this is it. There we go. Now we're talking. This one requires level 3. We haven't been down here since. And we got another QR code. That's exactly what I crave. Sticky note 20. Guide us into the gray, beloved guide us. Yeah, okay, good to know that these are being left by John. So we'll look at these two. Look at all that shit. Because this is exactly what he said before he got popped. And then two, and then seven. Seven. There you go. Two seven two seven seven. So twenty two Jesuses. If you want to do that time, if you want to do two two seven seven seven, you could totally do that. You can have yourself twenty two Jesuses. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to do another one. I forget. Yeah, I can't fucking do it, man. That one take was just a fluke. I was feeling confident. It fucking paid off. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't fucking do it. Just can't, or uh, I just can't do it again. Just can't do it again. I just don't have that same confidence anymore, man. Just looking at it, and I'm like, dude, it's tough. Look at that shit. We'll get to all of this. Fear not. There's five more computers. There's got to be some in the basement. Did I bet you if you look hard enough, Aiden Pierce is in this bitch somewhere. I'd fucking be willing to bet no amount of money because I don't think he is in this game anywhere. This. Is where we started this entire game, my friends. And there was a QR code sticking right up, right on in front of our noses, dude. Right before we had the communicator. Whoa. What is this? This ain't a fucking note. Sticky note. What are we missing, dude? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then this one. What the fuck is that? Okay. Well, there's all the sticky notes. Um, let's hack this giant ass computer. This is the one where we had to get initiated into. Dude, thank God it's this one. It's one of these again. I was kind of missing these. There we go. Hoo, hoo. Dude, John from IT look exactly like him. All right, how many times can I say that before it gets redundant? Right now, we're just interested in hacking. We'll get to the story later. 29 out of 33. About to be 30 out of 33. So there's no more sticky or QR codes. So we don't even need those. We just look for computers now. Oh, that's just a tease, dude. I spent the last seriously like... 30 minutes trying to get this fucking hack, hack and I just couldn't do it. I had to look it up and honestly, fuck you, no shame. Here is the exact combination. I didn't realize there was exact combinations you can do for this. I knew there was, but I did not know them and fuck you, dude. I don't I don't care. Here we go. Right? Oh. There I meant this. Right? Up. Right? Up. Left, down, right. That took me way too fucking long to do this, dude. That took me way too long to do that. That's how you, that right there is how you eat up your hard drive space. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to hold anything back from you guys. Truth be told, if I don't like this modern day, I don't like the fucking modern day, dude. As much as I love Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and we were, you know, and we're playing the fuck out of it, it's, uh, it's rather annoying to do all these hacks and shit. So mind your own business, dude. Here we go. Another one. Oh. Our room was this one. I think if we take this one, we go back into the fucking animus. I don't want to do that. And I just did that and that's kind of, I was like, no, that means I gotta start over, which, yeah, yeah. Perfect, dude. Oh my goodness. I hope we don't have to go through another bullshit hack like that again. 
I should have realized that of course there's a code for this stuff, but like, or you know, like a like a specific thing you can do to you know, a specific combination of button presses you can hit. Bam, dude. Me, I, left left to right, up or down. That's that's as simple as it gets for me. If I'm being quite honest. Fuck, was that last one in the lobby a total? Nightmare, dude. That was a bitch and a half, dude. That was insane. Like, I couldn't believe that that was that tough to get. 31. Don't go in this one. When you walk in this elevator, or walk down this hallway, I mean, don't go to that one. Go to any one of these ones. That one's already hacked. Um, I think I did that one in my main mission 3 video. I'm not sure. Second to last one. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I'll have to find out which one it is. I don't. I don't know where the last computer is at. TBHC's. There you go. None of these have been nearly as bad as the one that I just did. There's just. It was literally just like a perfect grid. And I just couldn't figure out which way to go, dude. What a nightmare that lobby one was. Subject Zero, I'll get to you. 32 out of 33? This has to be the last one. But this is the flipping animus, dude. Dude, two things. One, I, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find that last computer. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. Straight up. I've tried hacking every single computer. And I've hacked every single one possible. Uh, you saw it. You obviously saw it. Um, I think, honestly, we're just going to go back to the Animus and then come back and try it out. 